I want you all to imagine something for a second. Imagine that you are unable to tell the people you care the most in this world that you love them. You aren't able to tell them about your basic needs. You're not able to communicate properly with them. You're not able to express your feelings to them. For all intents and purposes, you're just there with no way of communicating with those around you. That's the state of an autistic child. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. I'm Alia from grade seven, and I'm here to present my views on the topic. Should students on autism be integrated in regular classrooms? Well, what is autism? Autism is a complex, lifelong developmental disability that typically appears during early childhood and can impact a person's social skills, communications, relationships, and self-regulations. Autism is defined by a certain set of behaviors and is a spectrum condition that affects people to varying degrees. More people in recent years have also been diagnosed with autism. So, back in 2018, a study was conducted to determine approximately how many children are born of autism. The results were shocking. One in every 59 are born of autism. The study also concluded that one in every 37 boys and one in every 151 girls are born of autism. Well, in India, the ratio is slightly on the lower side. That is, one in every 500. Children with autism have the right to be within inclusive classrooms. There are many benefits to have inclusive classrooms. Firstly, it reduces stigma surrounding autism. It creates a respectful relationship between all students within a classroom. And it teaches all students how to act positively with others. Number two, it minimizes the stereotypes while encouraging learning to occur between all peers. Number three, it provides a valuable academic resource and a social learning opportunity. Most people view being diagnosed of autism a flat out negative thing. But I want to ask you all something. Who here knows these men? Charles Darwin, the father of modern biology. As a child who used to spend his time alone, Charles Darwin had autism, which gave him the ability to hyperfocus, and his mind was ever accepting to all the information the world was providing. Albert Einstein, the great mathematician, had trouble concentrating in his school years, and once was expelled for his lack of attention in his subjects at the age of 15. Einstein had a brain that worked differently than others. Because of this difference in how his brain worked, he, Einstein, was able to see problems in a whole new perspective and light that those before him could not see. So my dear friends, it is important to remember that those with autism can lead a happy and successful life. If they are given a chance, they can reach up to their full potential. A disability could be in many ways. I would like to quote an instance from the Sahih Bukhari Hadith, number 416. Rasulullah was once approached by a Sahaba. His name was Itban bin Malik. He said, O oh Prophet of Allah, I live a little distance from the masjid. I can't walk there sometimes, as I have no one to take me there. I am visually impaired. O oh, Prophet of Allah, can you come to my house and me and you make jama and pray? And the place you pray upon will be my musalla. And the beloved Prophet of Allah went to his place and prayed with him just so he feels comfortable. MashaAllah. In Islam, when it comes to disability, there are a few responsibilities that apply on us. Firstly, is to encourage those parents. Secondly, what do we need to do as an individual, as a community? We need to respect and accommodate these children and parents who go through these difficult times. I would like to conclude by saying, by having children being mainstreamed as a part of regular schooling, we are providing a platform where all students are taught in the same way and are given as many chances to succeed as possible. But this comes with a lot of work, not just for parents and students, but for teachers and peers as well. So let's take a step forward and help these children be accommodated in regular schooling. Zakallah.